what's some DFW artists that you want to work with in the future that you haven't worked with yet? Man, I mean, uh, I done work with so many right now, man, but uh, I say the little homie Mo3, you know what I'm saying? Me and the little homie from the same hood. I've been seeing his progress and shit, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really just, you know, he a little younger than me, and I run with the old heads anyway, so I haven't really bumped into the little cat, but I think it'll be a, it'll be a nice look, you know, for the for the city and for the north side also for us to get up on some shit. I mean, the same thing that go on in the cliff, the grove, the south, you know what I'm saying? The, the same exact shit. Niggas getting killed, robbed. All that good old shit. Niggas know when they enter that mouth, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing like shit. Just the other day, it was two bodies found on Park Lane. A week before that, it was a body found on Forest Lane. One of the little homies, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just the same shit everywhere, man. I mean, niggas, you got the grinders, you got the robbers, you got the hustlers. I mean, it's same shit. It's same shit, man, different hood. Now, your future mixtape coming out, um, what are some features that we had, you know, we can expect you to do for me? Oh, man, I got, I got some crazy features. I got some, uh, I got some bum features that I never touched on, man. I got, a uh, features with, I got a feature with Trey, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I never touched, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Gates, me and Gates working. So, I mean, yeah, Turk, shout out to Turk. Uh, getting that in progress. Also getting the Gates in process along with the Turk. So, it's just a lot of shit up. Also, the, I just got off the phone with my nigga White. So, he cleared me on the, uh, the, the, the jam that I got with him and Young Buck. So, it's just a lot of out of the box shit. You know what I'm saying? Speak on the Ozone Awards. The Ozone Awards, uh, man, that shit was, what, what year was that? Uh, was it? Yeah, like, that was 2009. 2009, uh, I was nominated for the Texas Award and, um, in the streets, like normally, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, Ended up getting locked up, had to miss the Ozone Awards, and I ended up winning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For, uh, the Texas uh, Patiently Awaiting War, however the fuck they call it. But I ended up winning the shit, man. So that was a real good look. I mean, I, I wish I could have been there. My mother was there for me and shit. The homie Trey shot that nigga out, held me down while I was in there and shit. You know, I talked to the nigga while I was in jail and shit. So it, it, it was a nice look. And I, I fuck with JB, man. JB, if you see this shit, I let your boy. You know what I'm saying? I fucks with the homegirl, man. Real tough. When it's all said and done, why is the Dallas so hard like the Atlantas, the LA's, the New York, Chicago's, on a more mainstream look? I mean, because it's so much. I feel as if it's so much. Dallas is like. We're like crabs in a bucket, basically. No one wants to see the next person exceed or do better than what they're doing. And also, it's just, it, it's no loyalty here. It's no loyalty here. I mean, the, the next motherfucker can come into our city and get paid way more money, you know what I'm saying, for, and not even be as hot in the city as we are. But they, these promoters that are in our city expecting because we're from here that we'll take those bullshit ass $1,500, you know, $1,000 shows when they get another motherfucker that's right from Louisiana or coming from here from Atlanta, they giving them 30, 40 bands. Just seen that last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some crazy shit, like, Say for instance, I mean, Cash. Cash has what? Four, five, good six singles right now that's hot around the city. We can take T Cash and book him, a promoter want to book him for a show, but they'll be expecting Cash to take 1500 bucks. Now, 
no hating on this next nigga that I'm finna say, but say for instance, we get K Camp. He come here, they gonna give him $30,000. You get what I'm saying? So it's really like, it's, it's a fucking, I, I don't even know the word for it, but it's, it's bullshit, it's bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? If, if they want the world to start perceiving us as stars, then they have to start treating us that way. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no way that we can go to Atlanta and, you know what I'm saying, they get they give K-Camp a, a $2,000 show, he gonna get that same shit in the A. They gonna treat the nigga as a star to make it look and believe that the nigga's a star. You know what I'm saying? He gonna get that same love. He ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be no problems when he step into the club. He gonna get that bottle service and all that shit. They gonna, they gonna create that look, you know what I'm saying, for the fans, for him to do that. For him to, you know what I'm saying, come back next month and sell out the club. They gonna, they gonna create that look for him because they know how the game goes. Niggas ain't learned the game here yet. That's why we're still stuck behind. It's so many motherfuckers pointing the finger out here to where nobody's really checking they self and checking, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the wrongs that they're doing for the bullshit that goes on in the city. Right. Now, when the Dougie was at its hottest peak, what city was it hotter in besides Dallas? Oh, uh, the Dougie, man, that shit. That shit was hot everywhere, man. That shit was hot everywhere. I was getting fucking 100 to 110 spins a week in so many different cities. Like, if I show a motherfucker my catalog, they'll be amazed. You know what I'm saying? And Bust It Open was even better. I was fucking getting 110 spins a week with Bust It Open in Memphis, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Crazy ass cities like that. And it was for a minute. Like, it was a year later from when I dropped Bust It Open and still was getting that shit. And Dougie did even better. You know what I'm saying? Billboard so it was crazy. Billboard 20. Billboard yeah, on the Billboard 26 weeks. Bust it open 32 weeks. Exactly. That's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the numbers speak for itself. I mean, that's why I always, I, I always make this comment to where uh, a lot of people ask, well, well, damn, Will, you've been missing for a minute. What are you doing now? I, I inform them what I'm doing now, and then you know some sort of hatred comes along, and I just repeat like shit. You can keep your sarcasm until you surpass what I did. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't achieved what I've achieved, then your opinion doesn't even count. You know what I'm saying? So, just, it is what it is. <laughs> but if you could go back and, and change one thing, which, which, what was your biggest regret? My biggest regret was letting, letting minor infractions come between a team, not even a team, come between family. You know what I'm saying? That I feel like that was my biggest regret, just being honest. Because, you know, when, when you consider people as family, you gonna go through your ups and downs, you know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was so caught up into just a lot of other shit to where I didn't even take the time to fix our situation. I just went on with it, you know what I'm saying? And left it at what it was. And when I did have the time to sit back and think about it, I was like, you know, that shit was petty. We could have been got over this shit and been got back to what we was doing. But, you know, you live and you learn. Oh, <laughs>